And traditionally, civilizations are built on books. The vast majority of human civilizations, you will find that there is fundamentally a book at the core of the civilization. For the Greek civilization, it would probably be Homer. And for the, in other words, we, we can't really imagine a Greek civilization without Homer, given what we know about the Greeks. Plato is dependent on Homer. The, uh, the playwrights are dependent on, dependent on Homer. For the Hebrew people, it was certainly the, the Torah, or their Bible. And this will become the foundational book for the Western peoples, the European peoples. The Bible really becomes a foundational book, first in Greek and then in Latin, and ultimately for the English-speaking people, the King James Bible. For the Arabs, interestingly enough, there is no book in the Arabic language until the Qur'an. There's literally no book. They're an ancient people. And yet there is no book in the Arabic language until the Quran. Prior to that, the closest thing that you could consider literary was poetry that was done orally. And there were seven odes that were quite popular that were hung in the Kaaba, in the house in Mecca, and were honored by the Arabs, the pre-Islamic Arabs, as being the quintessence of eloquence and of the uh, Arabic art form of poetry. So when the Qur'an comes to these people, this is a radical departure from any previous concepts within the culture of knowledge and the transmission of, of knowledge. There, 